The movie starts in Kyiv, Ukraine, where Yuri Boyka, a famous MMA fighter, lives. He's known as the best in Europe and holds the title of undisputed champion. One night, Boyka takes part in an illegal underground fight. Despite the crowd cheering, his opponent can't land a single hit as Boyka completely dominates the match. With a kick in midair, he easily knocks out his opponent. Meanwhile, in a high-security Russian prison, inmates fight for the entertainment of guards and wardens. These fights might seem harmless at first, but they can get extremely violent. The most feared prisoner is Koshmar, a huge man kept restrained with chains. His opponent, much smaller, doesn't stand a chance. Koshmar brutally breaks the man's neck and keeps hitting him until his face is bloody and disfigured. Koshmar has a reputation for being merciless in the ring, often killing his opponents without a second thought. He's more like a wild animal than a human, showing no remorse for the many lives he's taken. Unlike many others, Boyka is a man with a heart of gold beyond just what he shows in the ring. Despite a tough life filled with years in jail and a bad reputation in Russia, he tries to leave his past behind and do good things. He helps out at a church in Kyiv and does charitable work. But his dedication to being good is put to the test when a priest, who's always supported Boyka, suggests he think about doing something else. This unexpected advice shakes Boyka, but he insists that his talent is a gift from a higher power and he's determined to use it in the right way. Later, Boyka's manager brings him good news. He has a chance to compete legally in MMA matches in Budapest. Boyka sees this as his shot at redemption and gets ready for the important qualifying match. His opponent, Victor, is a tough Russian fighter and the last hurdle Boyka needs to overcome to achieve his goals. As the fight kicks off, Boyka quickly shows his dominance with a powerful kick in the first few minutes. Using his strong defense skills, he easily blocks every attack from Victor, whose growing frustration only helps Boyka's strategy. Each time Victor fails, Boyka finds opportunities to strike back, impressing the judges on the sidelines. Just when it looks like Boyka is about to win, he lands a hard knee strike to Victor's jaw, seeming to secure his spot in the next round. But to everyone's surprise, Victor gets back on his feet just seconds later, showing he won't give up easily. Even after being knocked down again, Victor keeps going, frustrating Boyka. Finally, Boyka delivers one more powerful blow to Victor's face, knocking him out cold. The crowd cheers for Boyka's win, but there's a sense of unease as Victor lies motionless in the ring. After the fight, the tournament organizers invite Boyka to compete in Budapest's important league, promising him big opportunities to make money. At the same time, Boyka's manager gives him a lot of money and tells him to step up his training for the match in two weeks. As Boyka leaves the arena, he sees Victor, now in critical condition. Feeling guilty about how badly Victor's hurt, Boyka thinks about what the priest said and admires Victor's strength. Later that night, Boyka has a terrible nightmare where he accidentally kills an opponent in the ring. Disturbed by his dreams, he decides to face his fears the next morning. Looking for comfort and closure, Boyka talks to his manager, only to hear the devastating news that Victor has died. Even though he's not legally to blame, Boyka feels guilty, knowing deep down that he played a part in Victor's death. Feeling deeply sad, Boyka goes through Victor's things and finds a letter from Victor's wife, along with a photo of the couple. As he reads the letter, Boyka understands how much pain Victor's wife is in after Victor's death. He decides he needs to seek forgiveness and help Victor's family, knowing he can never fully make up for their loss. Even though his manager strongly disagrees and warns him of the risks, saying his criminal past could get him in trouble in Russia, Boyka is determined to make things right. He knows it's risky to get a fake passport and face possible imprisonment, but he's set on facing his past and trying to fix things, even if it means risking his MMA career. After Victor's funeral, we find Alma, his widow, feeling utterly alone and overwhelmed by her new loneliness. She's stuck in a tough situation with debts owed to the ruthless crime boss, Zarab, and no one to turn to for help. Zarab shows up at the funeral with a shocking offer. He'll clear Alma's debt if she becomes his mistress. Horrified by Zarab's audacity, Alma carefully responds, refusing his offer and promising to pay off her debt bit by bit through hard work. Alma's refuge is the community center she and Victor built with money borrowed from Zarab, a place where orphans and the less fortunate find solace. But Zarab's menacing presence casts a shadow over her efforts. Boyka arrives in Russia searching for Alma, only to witness her being taken away by Zarab's men. He realizes Alma is trapped in Zarab's underground fighting club, forced to work for him as a waitress under his control. 
Determined to help Alma, Boyka talks to Zarab's henchman, asking about Alma's work schedule. But his polite questions lead to a fight, where Boyka easily defeats Zarab's men, showing off his fighting skills that impress Zarab. Zarab sees Boyka as a way to make his fighting club more popular and thinks Boyka would be a valuable addition. Even though Boyka doesn't want to get involved in Zarab's violent world, the offer tempts him, especially since he wants to free Alma from Zarab's control. Boyka insists he just wants to talk to Alma, but Zarab won't let him, saying he'll handle it. Boyka isn't scared off by Zarab's threats and walks away, making Zarab tell his men to keep an eye on Boyka. Not phased by the looming danger, Boyka comes up with a bold plan to sneak into the community center the next day. Managing to avoid Zarab's watchful eyes, Boyka finally meets Alma again, giving her Victor's heartfelt letter. But their reunion takes a serious turn when Alma explains how she's stuck working for Zarab. As Alma reads Victor's letter, Boyka feels guilty, admitting his unintentional role in Victor's death. Even though Boyka tries to explain that Victor's death wasn't on purpose, Alma can't bear to hear it from the person who killed her husband. Feeling trapped, Boyka reluctantly agrees to Zarab's offer to fight in his secret matches. Zarab promises to protect Boyka from the law in return. With guilt weighing on him, Boyka faces a tough decision between making things right and staying alive in Zarab's dangerous world. The next day, Alma confronts Boyka, telling him she doesn't want his pity and asking him to leave. But Boyka doesn't budge, saying he's doing this for himself, not just to help her. Wanting to get better for the upcoming fights, Boyka goes to a nearby gym, where he faces harassment from a rude person. Boyka quickly deals with him, showing he's not one to mess with. On the day of the first fight, Boyka easily beats a local fighter, showing his skill. When he sees his opponent is done, Boyka doesn't hit him again, not wanting to hurt him more than necessary. After the fight, Alma takes care of the guests, and Boyka asks about other gyms. Alma thinks for a bit before inviting Boyka to use the gym at her community center. Boyka accepts and starts training hard there, slowly earning Alma's trust and approval. Boyka's training is thrown off track when he finds out about an unusual rule for his next fight. He has to fight two siblings at the same time. Despite being surprised, Zarab insists on this rule, leaving Boyka to face the challenge with determination. During the fight, Boyka deals with the constant attacks from both brothers together. Even though they work well as a team, Boyka finds moments to fight back. But his injured back becomes a target, making it hard for him to win. Despite the pain, seeing Alma in the crowd gives Boyka a boost of energy. He finds the strength to keep going, surprising both opponents with his fierce attacks. Boyka's determination surges as he overwhelms them both, leading to a spectacular double knockout that astonishes the audience. Meanwhile, Zarab's sinister intentions escalate as he confronts Alma, trying to manipulate her with his advances. When Alma rejects his advances, Zarab resorts to slander, implying she has feelings for Boyka and casting doubt on her late husband's death. Although Alma openly ignores Zarab's accusations, his words deeply affect her, making her question things and feel upset inside. Meanwhile, Boyka's manager from Ukraine brings urgent news of a press conference waiting for Boyka in Budapest. This makes Boyka want to delay it, as he wants to concentrate only on his upcoming final fight. When Boyka gets back to where he's staying, Alma unexpectedly visits him. She asks him to face the truth about her husband's death. As evening falls over the arena, Boyka opens up to Alma, revealing his past struggles and why the match against Victor is so important to him. Boyka feels sorry for Victor's death and understands the pain it causes. Even though Alma is hesitant to accept help, Boyka insists on fulfilling his duties. In the final fight, Boyka goes up against Igor, Zarab's champion, who sees Boyka as a threat. Despite Igor's brutal attacks on Boyka's weak back, Boyka fights back with determination and skill, refusing to give up. In a crucial moment, Boyka pulls off an amazing move in midair, hitting Igor with a double kick that turns the fight in his favor. Boyka keeps attacking relentlessly, pounding Igor until he can't fight back anymore and passes out from all the beating. With this clear win, Boyka becomes the champion of the tournament, keeping his promise to Alma and helping her with her debts. But what Boyka doesn't know is that Zarab saw this coming and got ready for it. In a surprising twist, Zarab tells Boyka that there's still one more fight he has to win to fulfill their deal. Boyka now faces a tough choice. Focus on his career-defining meeting in Budapest or stick to his promise to help Alma out of her troubles. Even though time is tight, Boyka decides to postpone his departure, asking his manager to move the meeting to the next morning so he can face his toughest opponent yet. 
Koshmar, also known as the Beast. Koshmar, known for his strength and skills, is brought into the arena in chains because of his violent reputation. As the fight starts, Boyka is already tired from his previous battles and struggles to hurt Koshmar. Koshmar's relentless attacks leave Boyka beaten and almost defeated, each hit draining his energy. But when things look their worst, Boyka digs deep and finds the strength to fight back. He surprises Koshmar and gains control of the fight. Using his skill and determination, Boyka locks Koshmar in a painful arm hold, breaking his arm, then delivers a powerful kick that sends him crashing out of the ring, defeated. This hard-earned win keeps Boyka's promise to Zerab and frees Alma from debt. But as Boyka stands victorious, he thinks about the sacrifices he's made for redemption and feels the toll it's taken on him. In a last-ditch effort to win Alma back, Zerab plans a violent attack, sending his thugs after Boyka as he tries to escape with her. Boyka is overwhelmed and outnumbered, getting badly beaten on the ground. But when he sees Alma being dragged away, Boyka finds a new determination fueled by anger. He fights back fiercely, taking down Zerab's men efficiently. In a tense face-off, Boyka confronts Zerab, fighting him brutally for payback. Despite getting shot, Boyka's rage outweighs his pain as he finally gets revenge on Zerab, putting an end to his evil influence once and for all. As Boyka stands over Zerab's dead body, Alma tries to help, but Boyka, feeling guilty and wanting forgiveness, asks Alma to forgive him. Alma doesn't say anything, leaving Boyka to face the consequences alone. Soon after, the authorities catch Boyka and take him back to a Russian prison. In the loneliness of his cell, he struggles with the mistakes he's made in the past, and his dreams of success are shattered. But in the darkness of his cell, there's a ray of hope as Alma comes to forgive him, giving Boyka a chance to make things right and find peace. With a new sense of purpose, Boyka goes back to fighting in the prison, still, the undefeated champion, showing that his spirit can't be broken by the challenges ahead. In the end, Boyka's determination becomes a symbol of strength, proving that redemption is possible even in the toughest times. As the story closes, viewers are left to think about the journey of a man who found redemption in unexpected places after going through tough times.